one final word, Rebecca, on, on Harry. His latest interview, uh, this time he seems to have been diagnosed with ADD live on air and talked about his use of psychedelic drugs. I mean, look, personally, I, I, I had to obviously watch it for work and I thought it was incredibly self-indulgent. Um, the fact that you had to pay £20 to do so and get a copy of his book in return, which obviously I've had to read quite a lot <laughs> since the start of the year. Um, you know, to do that in the, you know, to do something that seems kind of genuine and personable, but actually was a money-making opportunity, I, I found a bit distasteful. But I mean, don't take my word for it. You know, the, the medics, you know, the experts in the field of, you know, drugs and dealing with patients who've got substance abuse problems have come out in their droves and said, we think this is really irresponsible, really irresponsible. So I think this has been a bit of an own goal for him, this one. Mm. Richard, do you think there's anything left to learn about the Duke? Um, well, certainly we're, we're learning more and more about his, his drug use. And I mean, do the Americans you know, really want someone there who's just you know, giving these broadcasts, advocating not, not just cannabis, which he seems to love, but also more serious drugs like the hallucinogenic one that he, he praises? I mean, it's very unusual. I mean, would any of us get a visa to you know, live or work in America if we went on about how wonderful that drugs were? It does seem a bit like one rule for him and one rule for the rest of society, doesn't it? Thank you for watching, but don't forget to click here to subscribe to our Royals channel for Palace Confidential, which brings you the latest royal news, views and gossip. See you there.